Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. In this video, we will be removing and reinstalling a hood latch in a 2010 Volkswagen GTI. We're going to take these T25s out for the front, front grille. We're using a T25 socket extension and a ratchet. And I'm going to grab underneath the grill and just pull forward. There's little clips underneath. That came out kind of easy. You may have to work at it a little bit. I'm gonna pull this panel off. Grab underneath and pull. We have a T25 that goes straight up and down. I'm gonna use our T25 socket and extension. Get on it. And there's two more down here. We're gonna pull our connector for our fog lights. You're gonna push on this little tab here and then pull down. The connector will pull right out. Push down and then pull that straight out. And the driver's side is the same. On the driver's side, the wiring harness had a retainer that's attached to the bumper. You're going to pull it straight out. So we're going to take out all these T25s. There's one here, one here, one there, one there, one there, one there, these two, and these two. Now on both sides, I'm gonna grab right here and pull out. I'm gonna take these last two out. Pull straight forward. We need to remove the driver's side headlight. Um, this vehicle has an aftermarket air box, so yours may be different. You may have to remove um, your air box to gain access to the headlight. So we're gonna start by taking these T30s out. One right here. One right here. Right, we're gonna take this connector out. I'm gonna slide a straight blade screwdriver into the connector lock. Pull back. You should be able to. Pull it back, like so. Then we can pull our headlight straight out. We're gonna pull this cable out of this little bracket right here. Just use a flat blade screwdriver or your hands. Just pull it towards the front of the vehicle. That will come off. This can disconnect right here. You're gonna twist it sideways, 
and pull it out like that. Here is a connector right here. This is the hood ajar connector. Push down on the retainer, pop the connector out. Then there's a little lock right here. Push that down. Push up. And that will come out. A little retainer on the inside. If you can get to it with a trim tool, you could probably pull it out. But we're gonna just push it through with our screwdriver. That holds the wire. Over here, the wires in these little slots, there's, there's a holder for it. So we're gonna push in here to get the wire out of the retainers. You can pull the wire through here. Like that. So before we take these bolts out, we want to take a Sharpie, just go around. Because we're going to want to line this up afterwards. And then right here. Also take a uh, straight pick and just scribe it. It works as well. And then right there too. Because we want that to line up after. Now we're gonna take our bolt out with the T30 socket and extension and a ratchet. latch. There's a little bracket down in here. Let me see. Where the wire will be in right here. I'm gonna pull that bracket. I'm gonna pull this bracket off the connector. Then we're gonna fish this through underneath here. You can grab underneath the bumper. Fish it up here. Can pull it out. It'll come on up there. Then to pop the cable off, I'm gonna push this little tab right here. It'll pop off and the ball will come straight off with it. And there's your hood latch. All right, we're gonna reinstall. We're gonna start by fishing this cable down here and pull it through. And we'll leave that for a minute. We're gonna reinstall the hood latch cable. You have to pull this ball out a little bit. Want it to be right about there. You're gonna tip it down. Now that ball is gonna go into the slot right here. And then you're gonna push it together. Make sure that's all the way down. I'm gonna fish that in there. Fish this cable back down, grabbing from underneath. Push it back up. Push that cable back in. 
grab it over here. So on the back side of here is what secures the wires in. You're gonna take the wire and the cable and you're gonna pull it towards you, towards the front of the vehicle. That will lock it in place. You can see it's going in there. And that's what holds it in. Just like that. This cable can go back in here. Click it back in the holder. to the other cable, and push it down, push that ball down, and then it'll lock it in. I'm gonna lock this in over here. Lock that in like that. It'll be good and locked in. And then we're gonna slide this wiring harness back in here. Grab over here. Push that, turn that retainer back through. Like that, we're gonna install our bolts. Want to put them in loosely because then we're going to line line the latch back up. So that's lined up down there, and this has just got to come up a skosh. Take a screwdriver and just pull it up. Just a little bit, and it's lined up. Oops, I fell back down. And we're lined up right there, and we're lined up over here. So we're good to tighten it down. We're gonna torque these bolts to 12 Newton meters. Right. Before we put the rest of the car back together, we're gonna wanna test it and make sure everything's lined up. Um, because if you had the whole car back together and you forgot to hook the cable up or do something and the hood wouldn't release, then uh, it's gonna be harder to fix it at that point, so. Close the hood. Check right here. It looks like it's lined up pretty good. Check over near the other headlight. It's lined up good. And we'll check our hood latch and make sure it unlatches. That's good. Check our safety, and it's good. So we're good to put everything back together. All right, we're gonna put this driver's side headlight back in. You're gonna wanna line underneath here. There's these two T 
tabs to line up. I'm gonna line those up, push it down. All right, you're gonna wanna push the connector on so it's locked on. I'm gonna take these bolts, put the bolts in. You don't want to start them all before you torque them down. Snug these up. For ease of installation, um, it's easier if you have a partner and when taking it off. So you can line it up. Install these two T25s. Now we're going to install these T25s. We're gonna connect the fog light, well, the marker light. Push that in. Now we're gonna connect the fog light. Just push it on until it's locked in. And do the same for the driver's side. All right, we're gonna install this last. We're gonna install this T25 going up. You're gonna push on the fender. You're gonna push on the bumper and make sure it lines up while you're tightening it. Put these Torx screws in. the cover, put it in up top, and push in, install the grill, and line it up down below, and push, lock it into place, install these four Torx screws. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.